How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Haruyori and welcome back to this channel. Uh, today we have Our Wilds, I bought it in the Steam Winter Sale for like, I already forgot, like I think $20 which was, I think it was a pretty good deal. I remember seeing Jacksepticeye play this, I didn't really see him play it all the way, I just saw him play it like a little bit so I was like, oh I feel like I would want to play this so I stopped like watching him and here I am now. because uh. I actually really like space stuff, so I think this game should be in the area of my interest. So I think let's let's just start because I I am kind of excited to see what this game has to offer for me. Eat to wake up. Uh, all right, look around. Hello, Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, living on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? I think that's pretty important. That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Bro, if I launch the rocket and it doesn't work. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, thanks. Uh, hmm, I think we are supposed to go here. Alright, I'm gonna change my settings real quickly. It's kinda cool that you can hold and release. Hello, Micah. Hey, it's you. Say said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see it launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'm still going. You better be. Uh, it's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out and my new... Out my model ship? Say says it's just like the real thing. Only less likely to start a fire. Ooh. Okay, yep, I changed my s s thrusters. Oh, yep. Failed it. It's landed in the platform. Let's try to land it correctly. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, okay. Nailed it. Okay, that counts. <laughs> All right, let's leave. All right, let's meet some new people. Should I talk to everyone here or what? Hey, hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and go and open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious, swap wine, and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true heart here, my friend. Our hardly hunter garage life stems from trial and error, by which I mean our answers survive eating a lot of bad things. Is that like... Yes, yeah, I kind of wonder like how we kind of discover like poisonous like food and stuff like that. Someone had to be like, oh, hmm, not good for you. Okay, good to know. <laughs> You're actually passing off into that thing, huh? They really don't e explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, look, good luck with those retro rockets. Retro rocket. Of course, I'll be watching from the distance, obviously mostly to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless. Okay, most of them are just talking, so I'm gonna go. Unless he has something to. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Oh yeah, this is like the first time I'm like recording in 
2040p, so hopefully it's not laggy, because that would actually suck. My, o my OBS says I'm recording at like 55 frames sometimes. Zero gravity cave. Should we go there? Uh, let's just let's just go to the observatory, man. Damn, this game is so pretty. Look at this. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Sorry. All right. I'm gonna take several screenshots. Just maybe get my thumbnail out of the way because I feel like my thumbnail's not that good honestly well I'm trying but could be better hey hey it's my favorite astronaut launched it at last huh buddy it's the translator tools in our girl flight too I'm so excited it's making me nauseous just think you'll be able to translate any no 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 my no my text you want anywhere you are the two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool so don't break it okay ha 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 oh geez do not break it uh, ignore me okay i'm just nervous and i'm not even the one going to space how are you feeling i'm excited good you've only been waiting for your stay since you since we were hatching so i can't wait to see all your training pay off so what's the dirt you here to see the no, the new nomai statue i'm just here for the lost girl yeah i get that you're dying to head out into space but seriously you've got to see this statue before you go it's an amazing find makes me wish we could see what our real life nomai looks like but i guess this is as close as i will ever get check it out it looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue I ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta let the car it away. There, go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Thank you, sir. Untranslatable no mice. Okay, nice, nice translator tool. <laughs> What the? Whoa. So this is our solar system? Oh, it's kind of cool. So giant deep, Giants Deep is probably like Jupiter, which keeps like the asteroids from hitting this planet here. I think. And we got this, whatever this is. Yeah, like right around where the Goldilocks zone is, you know? What's that other ring? There's like a ring. You see this ring right here? Uh, I don't know. But let's get Lodge Code. There you are. I've just finished pre-flight observations. And the local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We've be we're better equipped than ever to unravel the visitors of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I have no idea. I'm just going to wing it. Planning to fall in the footsteps of Fedspar and the great Outer Worlds venture tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that treasure tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all of, of all that stuff is... To send you off all in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Sate makes any more modification or strip. Yep, good luck and out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yep, let's leave before that dude modifies. Definitely mod. Oh, I don't know if there's uh, what's that called? Uh, jump damage. Fall damage. What's up, statue? That's creepy. What the? Is he eating my memories or? Uh, thanks for that, sir. It's kind of. 
Can I E on you? Nope. He just looked at my memories. Nope. What's up, Hal? Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw an image from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? You know what, don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch well. We're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of the translator tool sniff. I can't believe it's all grown up and being for space already. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like right back. They'd fall on it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip, you just get your space legs under you. You could check out the ruins at the altar rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Thank you, sir. I am going now. Dude, look at this game, man. Yeet. It's taking a bunch of pictures. I really hope this recording is not lagging. Uh, before we launch the thing, I'm probably just gonna check the recording if it's not lagging. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of the launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the, on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot avoiding system for this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this music is really chill too. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here and check the recording real quickly, if it's lagging. Alright, I believe the recording is good, so yeah. I mean, there's like a few drop frames from 60 frames, but I think it's like decent enough, you know? Whoa, that was cool. What the- uh... Suit so, up. Uh, view ship log. Okay, we're going here. I think. Yeah, we're going to Alter Rock. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere on the Alter Rock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. We're going there though. Yee, buckle up. Ooh, you guys excited? I am, for sure. I like it when like you can go from planet and a different planet kind of thing. It's really cool. Zoom in. Whoa, that's really close. What the heck? That we're approaching that rock really fast. I feel like I'm going really far away from it. Oh, what the crap is that? Sorry, I'm like trying to get used to the controls well. What the, the sun is right there. Bro, why is this so hard? A few moments later. Oh, yep. <laughs> uh, oh wait. I almost, I, I almost went into the moon without a suit on, bro. That could be really bad, actually. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? Oh man, is there puzzles in this game? Alright, alright. Look at this then.
That's cool. You can hear it. What about this one? Or is that one? Oh, damn. High winds. It's kind of cool. In our solar system, doesn't Neptune have um, the highest wind? Or something? What the crap? What planet is that? Oh god. Can I take you? What about this one? Beginning to think that it does not exist, guys. Okay, I don't think it exists. That's really cool, though. Oh. Oh, there's trees here? How? Oh. How convenient. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this in ruin. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of nomite locator, it can point out different planets, which is very cool by the way, but from what I little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure I was also able to translate something about the South Pole Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. South Pole Brittle Hollow. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. To totally show you, mostly safe old stars and all. Untranslate don't my wow is this thing does this even work bro? Oh it does work. Where should this new more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator. Plumble, the southern the southern glacier on Brittle Hall has ample available space. I could construct on a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, that's Builder. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. What's the eye? I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Ano huh? Anona and those of us originally stranded on Amber Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Bro, you can build on the sun, bro? These people are built different. What the? I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giants deep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. What's the eye? This is the curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Per Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustment and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Aww. Are we trying to find the eye? It saddens me to it saddens me to post it this, my friends, but I believe the list locator I cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eyes. Eye of the universe. Eye of the universe. Then we will build it, don't lose hope. Kasaba, our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. That's good. Thank you. Right, let's go back to our ship. Actually, let's let's explore this uh, planet. Oh, yup. Crater, nothing. Ow. Nice. I wonder if in real life that would hurt. I'm pretty sure it would. Oh, look at that. An unidentified un un signal nearby. I got a whole ass house here. What the? Hello, good sir. 
Oh, it's you. Gal Control didn't tell me you, you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Church comes by to say hi, but Garbro is Garbro, and you know how Ryabek feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go, I mean. Anything else you want to ask? <laughs> So lovely. A little I'm in touch with ground control horn pels and Gossan mostly and they radio up chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here and they usually do, I lost my little scout at the village. That's kinda sad. I don't blame them for one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not as so bad up here really, at least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Don't go, I mean. Ah, uh, very funny. Oh, stars well, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Sigh. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started, our outer world servers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since there. then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot since more than they do now. Since the outpost cut down, the numbers of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the numbers of fires nowadays though, though it's most just me here racing saplings from timber heart keeping an eye on things. Don't go, I, uh, what's that whistling? What was that whistling? Probably or actually definitely the other type of scared instruments so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole Great Earth Session. The North Pole is marked in the red on your minimap, but the Alter Rock is pretty small. Moon, really just go north. You you can't miss it. Talk to you later. All right, let's go to the whatever he was talking about. He said go. Oh, the red. Damn, that's so cool. What is that thing called again? Solar flares. Well, that's Dragon Balls, but. I think it is called that. Read. That's your signal scope. Still not picking a... I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to chair play for a while today. I'd rather someone should tell poor P and goes under flurry is not so bullet from an aerial perspective. Bajo music coming in loud and clear today sounds like Ryback's doing okay. Bad. Oh, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange, I don't know. It was probably the thing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearts. Okay, I know it's this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearts sounds exactly like Fez Pars Harmonica, but first put this written space age ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal goes better. I better talk to Genesis. Is that his harmonica? It's Timber Hearts, right? Bro, someone's getting lit in space, literally, bro. What the heck? Oh, it's not... It's not the sun. That's so s nice. There was a big ass crater here. Let's check that out real quickly. I really like this game so far. Sheesh, look at this crater, bro. Alright, what is this? Church features notes, proper tea of church. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is the is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirt of Dark Bramble. I posted that Alarak was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Alright, let's uh go back to our ship. And s ow. Oh yup. Oh, oh, oh. Nailed it. Look at that. Boom. In my ship.
I see the locator, right back, Saturn Observatory, Eskers Camp, Lunar Outlook. Okay, which one should we do first? I don't think there's like a pattern or like a linear storyline here. It's more of just doing stuff. Right back headed to the Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing on the South Pole. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more specific eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Maybe they will all connect at one point. I ask her signal log reports her Mercury music coming from somewhere on Timber's heart. They could claim it sounds just like Fesper's harmonic, but Fesper just started in space ages ago. I think we should go to Timber's heart because it's really close by. Alright, let's go to Timber's hearts first, and then let's just go to Bird of Hollow after. Well, right, let's check this one out first. I don't need my suit, right? You know what, that's good for good measures. I don't know, I'm guessing it's not here. That's so vague, somewhere. Nailed it. What the crap is that? You know what, I think this one, let's just do it later. Alright, let's uh, avoid the sun. Because it's on the way. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what the crap? Oh, he just had the supernova. What the crap? That's not good. Is, isn't that gonna hit us? Oh, that's bright. Oh god. Bro, that's gonna hit us. But we can't really do anything. Ah! Bro. What the crap? What the crap? Okay. Well, bad dream or something. You still look half asleep, but that's I think a look on being. <laughs> I know it's a strange to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. What the crap was that? The sun just. <laughs> the sun turned into a supernova. What is that, bruh? Even my fuel is uh, 100%. At the South Pole. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more specific eye signal locator on Brit's Hollow South Pole. So these are both in the South Pole. Let's try to go to the Brit's Hollow. Let's see if I can do that. Because I was struggling last time. Can't really. We can't really waste time to like. Alright, we can just do all the pilot actually. It's a lot easier. I can do this, bro. 
Oh, yep. Nailed it. Alright, let's do it up. So just stop. Are you freaking serious, man? So just stop pulling. Oh crap. It ain't safe here, bruh. What just happened? Did a what the crap? Oh, there's a black hole. What the crap? Um, in terms of actual physics, I should not be able to do that, right? <laughs> oh, there's a cave entrance. Thank you. I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. I mean, not the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. I have few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. Basically what I went through. One of my better attempts at spar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I don't know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one, probably. I can get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Nailed it. I mean, I guess it's really important to repair that. There's a door to the observer on the surface, but it's broken. Ladder shift near the big dome at the south pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. I mean, we kind of found a way in, but there's a black hole, bruh. What the? Jesus. That's so cool, man. And scary at the same time. Nearby? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think that, uh, that warning was a little too late, bruh. Like the oxygen nice. Is everyone unharmed? No, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least, have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if it's any Comfort, both pods must be structured in pair. I'll continue coding for them. I'll continue co calling for them. My gratitude, if you can. Tash, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcano, volcanic moon has returned. Because falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Oh, no, 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 no. Collision imminent, preparing for impact.
Is that it? That made me laugh. Oh, I feel like he just kicked the door down. That is so cool. This is not the North Pole, though. Is this it? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend Hollow's lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaid eyes. Sometimes it leaves such its friend Hollow's lantern for a night at a time. But this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves leaves its friend Hollow's lantern for nights at a time. What? The nights of the moon circles this planet appear appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there would be none of us left. <laughs> I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappear? Hypothesis? Could it be? Is he flirting? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Hypothesis: There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. So cool. What's up, man? Please don't explode. What are these? I like they're puzzles that I'm supposed to solve. Like, what the hell is this? I don't know, bro. Not an oxygen tank. Let's go. I was wondering how you can do that. Pespar, Pespar spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to scout across the planet to ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. Nice. I check with my little scout. I do, I do to use it. I do to use it. Halorus Felia burn marshmallow and the scouts interrogate reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around. Feel free to use it. If not, well, whatever you're reading this, note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. The Hang City below six. Huh? Before we go in there, let's read everything first. To our fence on Brill Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brill Hollow's black hole. Our design work we've successfully recreated warp travel. So this is going with a theory that there's wormhole between black hole and like a white hole. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen this reading? If they're, they were accurate, they would violate casual, casual, casually? casuality. There must be an equipped error somewhere. Holy, that scared me. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a few full diagnoses and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. So we can jump through that black hole. Alright, let's go back. Oh, this took some damage, bro. Alright, let's read our thing now. Northern Glacier, Quantum Moon, White Hole. The North Pole, the North Pole of Vir Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped no Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. The Nomai on Bridge of Hollow observe a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. There is a white hole station on the other side of Bridge of Hollow's black hole. 
Several all might return to the station to investigate an equipment reading that appeared to violate casualty. So do we have to enter that? So Mr. Riley who crashed on Real Hollow Climb down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. One of the Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system, all three escape pods were launched from something called a vessel which was badly damaged. Do I have to come back there? I guess we did... I guess we have to go there? That is so trippy man. Nailed it. Jesus Christ, I can't see anything. Oh nice, there's trees here. Jeez, look at that. The journey here from the South Pole has been um I'm going to go with harrowing because of them the um all of the meters. But hey, at least I made it here on concussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poke around a little and there's some sort of old nomai path that start across from the from the campsite inside the ruined buildings with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible with just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs after I get my spicer. I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay, so this game is just pure exploration. There's no writing here, right? Nani? Nope. Oh, yup. What? Was that? Whoa, that is so cool. That's what it's for. It's kind of trippy though, but holy, there were advanced events. Grab your crystal workshop above. I'm hearing something. The Hang City. Where's the city at? Is this a city like? I can go there. Let's check everything first though. I don't want to miss anything. Gravity cannon? Cannon? That thing? Dude, the dome were like actually really sophisticated um, civilization. So we can go up. That's good to know. What I unidentified. Oh my god, I've never been so close to a black hole before. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge.
Just so scary, just a black hole just right there, bro. Sheesh. Forever and wasting time. Be welcome in this place above. You stand tower of quantum knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend the stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Chipla surface integrity. Huh? Cool. We the sound observatory. All right. What does that mean? Oh! Oh, we got spewed out by a white hole. How far is my ship? 27 kilometers? Well, we know we're not coming back there, that's for sure. Oof. Let me in. What the crap is happening? Oh, that's so cool. Huh? How am I getting air though? My scout is still there. What is happening here though? Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to the burrow hollow. That is so cool. Wait. Every warp tower is tuned to the Pacific Astral Body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window then when a tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body in its case. Brill Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the al this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when the astral body is directly overhead. You may be missing something here. Oh, okay. I'm back. That's kind of cool. Wait, put me back. Put me back. Oh man, it happened again. Oh, we can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Hey, I'm technically saved. Not really. Again. So like what what's the actual goal in this game? Cause
All right, I think I'm actually going to end the first episode here. I said I was going to end it earlier, but I start playing again because I really wanted to play this game. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content. I'm not forcing you to do it. Just do it if you like the content. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode because I really like this game. This game's really pretty. Jesus. But I digress. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.